the reason Lil Durk will serve life in prison. So don't ever front your move, cause Buka catch you through the bank. Ain't no rumors for no stool, paperwork is big. After hearing of the recent reports and allegations about the rapper's case, it seems Lil Durk can be looking at some tough times ahead. If worse comes to worse, the rapper can even be looking at life in prison. Welcome to Lime Report, and today we're going to discuss why Lil Durk's career is officially in trouble. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to hear what will happen to the Chicago rapper and our thoughts on his case. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword LIFE for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Now, here's what you need to know about Little Dirk's upcoming trial. History with Law Enforcement Growing up in the Chicago hood, it was more than likely that Little Dirk, also known as Dirk Banks, would have run-ins with the law. None of them were substantial enough to put him away. With reports of him having relations with a Chicago gang, the media assumed he would have an extensive criminal history. However, they'd be surprised to find out that Dirk had not actually been arrested until 2011, when he was caught with an illegal weapon. He was arrested and later placed on bail. After that, he served eight days behind bars, marking his first visit to jail. Following this incident, Lil Dirk was arrested again for the same crime after he was confronted by two police officers by his car. This got the rapper sent to prison, where he was forced to pay $100,000 to be released on bond. Once returning home from jail, the case against him was dropped after one of his close friends admitted that the illegal item was his. This got Lil Dirk off the hook and most likely got his friend a pretty decent payout. When his case came to an end, Dirk made sure to stay off of the police's radar. Due to his cleanup act, the rapper did not have any encounters with the law until years later. In the summer of 2015, when Dirk was performing a tour in Philadelphia, his tour bus was shot at in a drive-by. Officers were called to the scene and a proper investigation was done. In the end, Dirk was cleared of any wrongdoing and his clean streak with the law remained untainted. That was until his most recent case, which leads us to our next topic. The newest charge. Earlier this year in February, outside of an Atlanta club called the Cyber Lounge, a shooting took place. Initially, details about the case remained under wraps while law enforcement investigated. Months later, after collecting evidence, the police placed a warrant out for Dirk Banks' arrest. Banks, who was in the middle of a tour, had to fly back and cancel his show in order to assist the police with their investigation. At first, it appeared Lil Dirk was successfully sustaining his innocence. Having complied with the police's every demand, along with being approved for his quarter-million-dollar bond, Dirk was looking to get out of the situation scot-free. Unfortunately, that was until rumors began to surface that Lil Dirk was seen outside of the club the night of the shooting. Apparently, video evidence was found from a camera outside one of the neighboring buildings. After watching the footage, some sources claim that the video totally implicates Lil Dirk. As explained by some viewers of the tape, Lil Dirk was seen with multiple accomplices holding guns outside the club. There, the men gunned down a single individual who they later robbed. Somehow, the victim of the assault survived and was later arrested with a separate shooting. After confirming all the people associated with the incident are gang-related, there's no doubting that Lil Dirk may be looking at a long sentence. If the crimes committed are escalated to gang violence charges, then the judge might feel the need to throw the book at the Chicago rapper. What do you think of the case? Do you believe Lil Durk is innocent? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to stay until the end of the video to hear our theory on the case. Banks' Rise to Fame In 2013, Lil Durk officially entered the music game when he released the song, This Ain't What You Want. That track single-handedly cemented him in the rap genre and sparked the light that would become his massive fan base. While his career continued to blossom, the rapper took the opportunity to sign with Def Jam Records. Now officially signed, Banks wasted no time in releasing his mixtape titled Signed to the Streets. But that wasn't all. Lil Durk also dropped eight separate music videos in order to promote his new project. This technique proved useful by the end of the year, when in October of 2013, the mixtape got listed at the eighth spot on the Rolling Stones' top list. While riding the wave of his mixtape, Lil Durk was also named on XXL's freshman class list. This gave Durk an interview with the magazine. There he spoke about how he was planning to release his debut album with his new label, Def Jam. However, before he did that, Dirk felt obligated to release another mixtape, the sequel to Sign to the Streets. While his fans were currently occupied with his latest release, the rapper went back to the studio to complete his album. By summertime, he was finally ready for its release, and by June 2nd, 2015, his debut album titled Remember My Name was officially out. During its run, the album did amazingly well, racking in 28,000 sales and hitting the 14th spot on the Billboard Hot 100 list. After spending the fall enjoying the success from his first album, Little Dirk returned from the studio that winter and released his sixth mixtape, 300 Days and 300 Nights. The mixtape went on to do well, but a specific song off the list stood out to most. Becoming a hit overnight, the single titled 
my Beyonce began to get everyone's attention. Seeing this as a prime opportunity, Lil Durk wasted no time in releasing the official music video to the song. Thanks to his quick pace, the song hit trending numbers and went on to sell the equivalent of a half a million units, thus making it gold. While everyone was focused on the song, Dirk was once again in the studio, this time ready to drop his second studio album titled Little Dirk 2X. Unfortunately, for one reason or another, the album did not receive as much praise as his debut. With it only topping at the 29th spot on the Billboard Hot 100 list, Little Dirk 2X failed to reach the first album's ranking by 15 spots. While the album continued to struggle in stores, Dirk came back with another mixtape, this one titled They Forgot. It went on to do moderately well, however, it wasn't the shining achievement of the year. That wouldn't occur until December, when the single off of his debut album called Like Me hit gold record sales. This solidified the fact that his work was getting progressively worse. Which leads us to the next topic on the list, Dirk's Descent. Though he just received a gold record for his single Like Me, Dirk was not satisfied with his career, as the artist could tell that only his older work was striving much more throughout his career. In an attempt to regain his former success, Lil Durk spent a majority of 2017 releasing new content, some of the projects consisting of mixtapes titled Love Songs for the Streets and Super Vultures. On top of that, the rapper also released Signed to the Streets 2.5 and a collaborative album with T Grizzly titled Blood As. However, even with all of this new work, Dirk's debut album still reigned over his career. With this issue in mind, Dirk made the drastic decision of leaving his record label, Def Jam. After announcing his departure from the record label, Dirk also took the opportunity to announce the release of his next mixtape titled Just Cause Y'all Waited. The mixtape was dropped the following day on iTunes and Apple Music, once Lil Dirk became a free agent again. This change in pace turned out to be the right move for the rapper, as this mixtape went on to be his best yet. During its peak, the album went on to hit the 28th spot on the Hip Hop Top 200 list and the 57th spot on the Billboard Hot 100 list. With his reacquired success, Lil Durk wasted no time to get signed again. This time he announced his partnerships with his new record labels, Alamo Records and Interscope Records. This new agreement marked the beginning of the downhill for Durk's career. Once signed, Lil Durk went into the studio in order to release his third album, titled Signed to the Streets 3. The album was unfortunately greeted with lackluster reviews. As it hit the stores and began to rise through the ranks, it just couldn't seem to form the same traction as his debut album. Instead, Signed to the Streets 3 peaked at the 64th spot on the Billboard Hot 100 list. This defined the most disappointing time in the rapper's career. After taking his most recent loss, Dirk decided to step away from the studio and dedicate his time to touring. Initially, this seemed like a solid ploy to grow his fan base, all the while bringing in stacks to his new record labels. Unfortunately, this was the tour that was cancelled due to the warrant being issued for his arrest. With this cancellation costing him millions of dollars, it looks like Dirk can't seem to catch a break. And now that this new evidence continues to get stacked against him, things are starting to look worse for the Chicago rapper. Which leads us to our final topic, what happens next? Lil Dirk's next chapter. With Dirk just paying his quarter million dollar bond off, he currently has time to establish his defense. However, he will need to build up a pretty significant one after seeing how the attorney's office claims to have a substantial evidence against him. If that wasn't bad enough, the supposed victim of the shooting, Alex Weatherspoon, survived the incident. Most likely being gang-affiliated himself, there's a good chance Weatherspoon will cop some type of plea deal in order to reduce his own sentence. With that said, this will probably be the driving nail that will take down Lil Dirk. Should Mr. Weatherspoon be able to testify and witness Dirk in court, there won't be much the rapper will be able to say in his defense. On top of that, the issue of the video recording is another major concern. If the attorney's office really does have video proof along with a witness statement, then Dirk could be looking at the max penalty if sentenced. Seeing how we're talking about life, this survival of his career would be the least of his concerns. But if it still happens to be, then perhaps we'll see Dirk release an album or a couple of mixtapes from behind bars. Though any work he does won't be enough to preserve his dying career, the rapper can still try to maintain his fame. With Dirk's case coming up, it won't be long before we get the long-awaited answers to our questions. Until then, you can stay caught up with everything about Lil Dirk here at Lime Report. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment keyword LIFE for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. And make sure to stay tuned to see the future content we'll have in store for you. Violence and the 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 like, honestly, stuff, you know? honestly, so many years ago, I don't even think I was ready. Right. You know I'm I don't think I was ready. Catch the bullets from the stick, cut your sleeves out. Going straight for the hit, then you ease out. Do it. Ready with my sound. I don't think I was ready with. Uh, being a people's person, you know what I'm saying? I think I was just in my shell. Set them up and speed off. 
Ain't no need, all this just something to read about. Spin the block, spin the block, spin it. So like just me coming out my shells and having fun with it. Is that ever like a challenge that you feel like the people have almost gotten used to you and it's hard?